Hello Cancer, welcome to your love reading. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection and what do you need to know about this other person and where all of this might be headed in the near future. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. If you find that it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance for you because sometimes those um, can resonate more than your sun sign. All right, so let's keep going for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know regarding love relationships with Cancer? Need to know. Cancer need to know. Let's see what we get for you, Cancer. Current energies for you is, okay, Five of Swords, King of Swords, and the Magician. Their energies, or what we need to know about who you might be dealing with. Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the Empress. Okay, it's interesting because I feel like there's like a problem. There's drama, conflict, something's going on that your person is involved in or your person is possibly bringing to this connection. Okay, what can we expect? Knight of Cups, the Chariot, there you are, Cancer, and the Page of Cups. So I feel like what you can expect is somebody apologizing to you or perhaps expressing themselves to you. Um, Knight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I feel like this would be possibly, you know, very like honest message that they're bringing to you, etc. Um, because I feel like something has happened here or is happening where, I don't know, it's like, it's like there's a conflict that has, that exists and is like a constant thing. All right, let's get some energies out here. Can you get some insight, please? on the energies between Cancer and this other person. What do we need to know about the energies between Cancer and this other person? Second chances, you're being given a second chance and budding romance, New uh, romance is in the air. So a second chance at love, a rebirth, of love, a revival in a connection. Falling leaves is at the bottom of the deck, which is a card about time. Time passing, changes, transition, um, time changes, everything. So maybe a lot of time has passed and during that time, feelings have changed. Maybe has, someone's having a change of heart. So let's get some clarity about these energies here. I want some insight, some clarity for Cancer. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Cancer? Tell me about this Five of Swords. Now, the King of Swords, they don't deal with BS. You know, they're going to just come right to it. Um, talk about what needs to be talked about, clear the air. All they care about is the truth. They're very uh, good communicators. So I get the sense that whatever's going on, it's not like someone's good with it. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Knight of Wands. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so someone could be wanting to come in and change this because they don't like what's going on either. The Five of Swords is really a card about failure, um, a card about an unfair advantage, not playing fair, self-sabotage. Someone could have maybe sabotaged themselves because they didn't want to lose or because of pride or ego. Um, but I feel like someone wants to turn this around and maybe that's why the King of Swords is here. Why? Tell me about this King of Swords. What do we need to know? 
about this king of swords the knight of cups yeah so i feel like this is the person that wants to kind of express themselves um apologize perhaps Can we get one more for this king of swords what do we need to know about this king of swords aquarius libra gemini energy there's a magician so they definitely are making this happen wanting to talk ace of swords at the bottom of the deck here so this king of swords is a uh, pretty much representing that someone has something to say tell me about the magician tell me about the magician why is the magician here eight of wands three of cups and the sun so again i feel like someone just wants to kind of come together and communicate this is definitely going to be a reading all about communication nine of cups at the bottom of the deck getting their wish granted being satisfied is because it, they would be very satisfied if they were able to make this happen basically it's very important for them to bring you this cup um the eight of wands knight of wands this is like quick energy or uh fast energy you know things that happen quickly so th this person might be wanting to come in fast there's a page of wands yeah so i feel like there's a lot of motivate a motivation because of the problem so i'm speaking to a cancer where you have an issue with um this particular person um or had in the past and over time maybe someone is having a change of heart okay so let's get some more insight on this particular person now the four of pentacles is here and you know the four of pentacles is really a card about holding on to what you value um maybe being a bit stubborn it could also mean that you're holding back because of feelings of like you know it's almost like you don't really want to lose what you're holding on to so you hold back so I feel like your person maybe is holding back or holding on. <laughs> we'll clarify and see because really it depends. Um, but it's it's almost like it's because of the problem. Whatever the problem has been, um, whatever conflict this is, whatever drama this is with the five of wands, five of swords. Um, I think your person, they think about this. We get some insight on this person that can't cancer oh my god what are we gonna canner that cancer is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this other person that cancer is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person united cooperation and harmony and fearless motivated and bold so they definitely do want to fix things i feel with united you know let's work together um, let's have harmony again. Let's have stability again, peace again. Um, and they're willing to come in to do it. Fearless, motivated, and bold. So I think their energy is definitely an energy of like a knight of wands. Okay, so tell me about this five of wands. Just on your person's um, energy here. Tell me about the five of wands. What do we need to know about the five of wands? The fool. Okay. What do we need to know about this five of wands and the nine of swords so i feel like them um they they're nervous because maybe they have to take a risk because of the pro once again because of the conflict there's something going on with this conflict maybe they sabotage themselves they mistreated you maybe they feel there's no way to come back from this maybe they're ashamed of what's happened Tell me about the four of pentacles why is the four of pentacles here why is the four of pentacles here queen of swords i think that they have held back what they want to say tell me about the four of pentacles why is the four of pentacles here yeah the hangman five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck i think that they have just kind of sat tight the hangman maybe they are seeing things in a different from a different perspective with the queen of swords and the hangman queen of swords is very perceptive 
Um, they see th through things. Um, it's like there's a truth. Like, like they have to speak their truth about what's happened. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, Two of Cups. You know, this energy of them struggling because maybe they mess things up or are having problems with their partner or their, you know, the person they want to be with. Maybe they're out in the cold when they could have a Two of Cups. There's a High Priestess. I do feel like someone just hasn't spoken up. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. What do I need to know about this Five of Wands? Page of Wands. Once again, I feel like your person with the Fool and the Page of Wands, they want to take initiative into something new, into taking a risk here, but they're, they're also afraid. Maybe they're afraid of causing even more drama, more problems. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Two of Wands. And the three of swords okay ten of cups again at the bottom of the deck keeps showing up i think that this is somebody that um they they're really thinking about the best way to come to you with the information that they want to express because in their mind they cannot i don't know it, i don't think they've they've i think they have suffered or internalized or you know they're still affected i guess i should say by what has happened nine of swords five of pentacles you know three of swords here um and it's like they don't want to go back there i think they might even want to tell you you know i haven't been okay since what's happened um i'm sorry for the pain i've caused you know I feel like that whatever message they're going to be bringing you, it's a very honest message from the heart, you know, with the king. Of, I'm not the king, the knight of cups, page of cups here. Tell me about this knight of cups. This is what you can expect in the near future. Tell me about this knight of cups for cancer. What do we need to know? Seven of cups. Okay, tell me about the page of cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Yep, King of Swords. It's a confirmation because we have the King of Swords here with the Knight of Cups. And here we have the Page of Cups with the King of Swords. Um, what, what you can expect is figuring out what you're going to do with this information, Cancer. Tell me about the Chariot. Once they come forward, what are you going to say? How are you going to take it? Are you going to accept their apology? Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. The hermit. Virgo energy. And then the four of cups. Yeah. There's the five of wands. I feel like in the, you know, you're going to be thinking a lot about this. Um, maybe this is something that's happening out of the blue. Maybe since time has passed, you're in a different state of mind about this person or have a different idea of love or a different idea of the kind of partner you want to be or you want to be with. Um, I think you're still going to be thinking about the drama or the conflict. You know, when, whenever you um, get this message, you're still going to be thinking about what happened in the past. Um, And so it's not going to be an easy decision for you. I see you with like the seven of cups, kind of like, what am I going to do with this? What do I even like think about this? I don't know. I'm confused. Can I get one more for the knight of cups? Can I get one more for the knight of cups? But make no mistake. Yeah. Queen of cups. This is a message from the heart. Ten of Swords, the star at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy with the star. Healing a past hurt, a past cycle that was, you know, whatever ending was painful. I feel like someone wants to heal it. 
you know it's it's like let's have a renewal let's have you know let's have harmony again tell me about the empress i still love you knight um knight of cups queen of cups i still have feelings for you etc etc tell me about the empress now for a small number of you i feel like someone else got in the way i think that someone else got in the way or deception was a factor like someone was not honest and it drove a wedge and that's why it's even harder for this person to come back because if they chose someone else or they deceived you in order to get away with something it's a lot harder to apologize for that you know because you knew that you had a part to play in what happened you know you have responsibility to make up for you know that you have a lot of um regrets you know in your actions etc etc and if you're this empress and they're seeing you as this empress it's even harder you know almost like intimidating tell me about the empress tell me about this empress tell me about this empress the high priestess yeah and the five of cups so you know again the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck i feel like this person regrets how they treated you cancer you know why did i do that to cancer why did i mistreat cancer cancer didn't deserve this etc etc feel free to flip it if it resonates for you and i feel like maybe they haven't said this yet with the high priestess but they're thinking it i can tell you that much with the hangman here the Nine of Swords is almost like thinking a little too much. Let me get one more for this Page of Cups. Can I get one more for this Page of Cups down here for Cancer? Can get one more energy. Why is the Page of Cups here? King of Wands. Ten of Cups again, bottom of the deck. Exactly. This is like the goal. Wow. Ace of Pentacles behind that. This is someone's desire goal, you know, with this whole thing. So Cancer, I feel like this is someone who did something that they regret or there was a problem between you. I mean, I'm not speaking to a Cancer where things have been peachy. Um, I feel like this is, this is a problem that existed between you that someone wants to change or someone wants to improve or, or repair, et cetera, et cetera. But it's really hard because I think they've held back their pain or their regret. Like they haven't really communicated how they feel here. So maybe that's also why you don't know what how to take this, you know? I feel like you're still thinking about the core of why everything happened or the reason why something happened. What do we need to know about the near future energies? for cancer any messages guidance spirit for cancer what do we need to know about the near future energies for cancer divine timing is at play well okay maybe that's why the wheel of fortune is here number 13 bottom of the deck choose a new direction i definitely feel like this is what someone wants to do they want to go down a different path in this journey with you. Or, you know, this is about not ha not repeating the past. You know, looking ahead, looking forward into the future with this two of wands that showed up here. Choose a new direction. Divine timing is at play. I think that this is someone who, I feel like the way that they felt about you has changed cancer. Or vice versa, maybe your feelings towards them have changed. And now it's like a decision has to be made. You know, what are you going to do with this cup that's coming in? Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.